So as some of you may be aware, during lockdown, I was actually streaming on Twitch pretty much every single day. And I honestly love doing that and I've been wanting to stream ever since. But the main reason why I haven't been streaming ever since is because there's a few things I don't like about it, specifically with Twitch. But recently Twitch has been in the news quite a lot for a lot of negative reasons. So I thought, you know what, let's make a whole video kind of based on Twitch, based on some stuff that's happened to creators, some stuff that Twitch is just doing themselves, which has got a lot of people very, very angry. And then yeah, it's basically all around Twitch today. Because because as much as I mainly focus on YouTubers and TikTokers in these videos, there is a lot of stuff that happens in the Twitch world as well, every single day, and it's some of the most deranged stuff you can possibly see on the internet, and I think a prime example of this is something I seen on Twitter today that happened to a Twitch streamer, and it was something that one of her viewers did, or I assume someone who just didn't like her and saw her streams, and it's honestly disgusting. Do you know how we always hear stories about like viewers showing up to YouTubers' houses, and it's like, well that's a massive invasion of privacy, you know, you kind of show up to a stranger's house. Well that issue seems very small in comparison to this because I recently came across a tweet that says in a terrifying series of events streamer just foxy had her car lit on fire by a viewer who drove 700 miles to her house he has already been taken into custody and no one was hurt thankfully and we actually have a video to prove this and it is some of the most disgusting behavior I think I've ever seen so here we have some like surveillance footage I guess and it's someone who showed up to a house it's putting some type of like block on a car I don't even know what he's even putting on here, but he's about to light it on fire and just leave for some reason. Like, who does this? How do you get to a point in your life where you're doing stuff like this? I mean, look, what? Oh my fucking God. Just a viewer. Someone who clearly didn't like her streams. Set her car on fire. Yeah, this is one of the craziest things I've seen a viewer do to someone that they watched. I don't know what the reason for this was. Like, did you just not like one of her streams? Did you not reply to a message? What made you think that this would be a good idea? Well, yeah, the video's carrying on anyways, and we can see the aftermath as well. The car's obviously fucked. Been set fire. Oh my Jesus Christ, fucking hell. Now, obviously, I don't have to sit here and explain to you, like, why this is a bad idea and you shouldn't do this, because 99.999% of people would never do anything like this. But for some reason, you have the odd few that will set someone's car on fire because they didn't like one of the streams. And we also have a clip here from Just Foxy Stream kind of explaining the whole situation. I watched him put a brick on my car, on the hood, and some pot. And he lit something sticking out of it and walked away casually like he didn't do anything. That must be uh, terrifying. The next clip after Bloody that hell. was the front end of my car engulfed in flames. The firefighters came very quickly and I'm very thankful for that because the fire spread to the fence and burnt the side of my house as well which my mom and animals were inside of. Fucking hell, yeah. I'm glad that this guy is in custody now, and I hope he gets the harshest possible punishment for doing something so fucking disgusting. And I mean, as much as it is a really shitty situation, it could have been a lot worse. As you just said there, a house was partly set on fire. There was people inside, a pet, a mother was inside. That could have went so much worse. Like the whole house could have burned down. You could have harmed the people inside. What are you thinking? Here's another picture of the aftermath here. And you can see obviously the car is absolutely destroyed. And someone just casually did this, walked away as if nothing had happened. And apparently he had drove 700 miles to do this. Like he actually had a full on plan, decided to travel the length of like England nearly three times, I feel like. That could be wrong. I'm pretty high up in England. It's like 270 miles to London for me. So the length of the country, probably twice, right? At least. But yeah, I can't imagine how terrifying this must be for someone. I feel like if this happened to me, I'd be on edge 24 seven and trying to like look outside my house 24 seven to see like if anyone's out there and what could they be up to? Like you would be paranoid for so long after this and I can't even fathom in my brain what would make a human want to do this? But yeah, it goes without saying, I hope just Foxy is okay. Like, obviously physically she's okay, but mentally as well, because I can't imagine what that would be like. But yeah, let's now get into the second part of this Twitch news I wanted to cover. But before we do get any further, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I don't know if I've hit 400k by the time this video goes out. As I'm recording, I haven't. Uh, so yeah, if I haven't, please subscribe. If I have, still subscribe, you know? 500k is just around the corner. Uh, but yeah, if you fancy it, 
please help out. Now, we are going to get into some more creator stuff towards the end of the video, but first of all, I did want to just focus on Twitch as a platform because they are slowly destroying their website day by day, it seems. I feel like whenever you hear Twitch in the news, usually it is always negative anyways. Any changes they make are usually negative. And we can bitch and moan about YouTube all we want, and for the most part, YouTube do come up with some stupid updates here and there. But it's never as bad as what Twitch is, and for some reason, they're just getting worse. So recently, there's been more and more streaming platforms that have kind of came out and risen a fame because they're getting like a bunch of massive creators paying them an extortionate amount to stream on their platform. And because of that, obviously, they're getting a lot more viewers now. So because these websites are now growing, Twitch decided to try and stop their own creators from moving over to a different platform by saying they're going to charge people $25 if they leave their agreement. If you aren't aware, when you become a Twitch partner so you can earn money on the platform, you have to like sign an agreement and it didn't usually have like a cancellation fee or anything like that. It was just kind of like, a legal note, right? You're now streaming their platform and you're earning money. But this is something they've now added to the contract and it says, if you or we terminate this agreement, a maintenance fee will be deducted from your remaining balance. The maintenance fee will be lesser off the occurred, occur, occur, oh God, it's a word I don't know how to pronounce again for fuck's sake. Can I just go one video without having a word that I don't know how to pronounce? Will be lesser off the program fees for your Twitch channel or $25. Which is mental in itself. It's even more mental that they even said here, if you or we terminate the agreement, so if they decide to terminate you, and bear in mind, Twitch is known as being like one of the strictest platforms, they terminate people's agreements for fun it seems, but if they terminate your contract, you have to pay them $25. I mean, yeah, that definitely makes sense. But one of these streaming platforms that has grew a lot over the, like, the last few months is Kick, and I believe I might have actually said something negative about Kick. It might have been Rumble. I kind of always just compared them to as being like the same thing, and I think I said something along the lines of I don't believe it will ever grow and it's not going to become a big platform. I kind of take that back now, and I think the main reason why I take that back is because Twitch are killing their platform so much that it could result in Kick growing to be the biggest streaming platform. Who knows? Obviously, it's still way off in terms of numbers behind Twitch and YouTube, but the stuff they're doing is stuff that creators have asked for for so long. And I mean, this is a prime example here. So after this whole like $25 cancellation fee that Twitch had announced kind of like broke and people were aware of it, Kick actually tweeted out saying, we will cover the $25 fee for anyone willing to break their contract and move to Kick, which is obviously a great thing to do, but it's not going to make the streaming platform itself grow massively just because they're willing to pay people $25. But then we see some more of the updates and I mean the comparison between Kick and Twitch in terms of earning money for creators it's so much better on Kick it seems. So here we have a comparison of the sub earnings so subscribers on these streaming platforms where someone usually pays five dollars that's kind of like the normal amount and they'll get some perks like you can be in like sub only charts you'll get like your own emotes you get a badge next to your name all this stuff but mainly it's for people to support their favorite creators. But for so long now when you pay your favorite streamer five dollars they actually only get half of that. Some massive creators have a contract where they get like 70% of that. But for the most part, most creators get 50% of the sub earnings. So when you're trying to support a creator, you're actually just supporting Twitch just as much. But with Kick, oh fuck, I've just realized this definitely sounds like a fucking brand deal. I'm not getting paid a penny. You know, I haven't spoke to Kick or anything like that. I have no interest in streaming on Kick as it stands. If I was to stream, it would be on YouTube, but I'm just going through the facts here. The split on Kick is actually 95% in favor of the creator. So if you sub for $5, 95% of that goes to the creator, which is really how it should be. You're there to support the creator at the end of the day, you know, no one's making a fucking stan account for Twitch and being like, oh, I just really want to support Twitch. But if you did have 100 subs, instead of getting $250, you get 475, which if you are a smaller creator, must seem like a massive, massive, massive difference. Now you might be thinking, have Twitch tried to do something to combat this because a lot of huge creators are making the move over to kick? And the answer to that is no. I mean, if you know Twitch at all, you would know already, like, they're not going to do anything right. In fact, they went backwards by a lot of steps here because they actually came out with some new branded guidelines for when people want to do a brand deal, you know, so they can actually fucking pay the rent, pay the bills and all that stuff. You know, if Twitch are going to be greedy and not pay their creators correctly, these brand deals can be crucial to creators' income, specifically like smaller creators and medium-sized creators. But Twitch decided to try and make a stop on this because they came out with some new guidelines and we can see them on screen right now from this tweet. So on stream logos are limited to 3% of the screen size. So if you're doing a brand deal for, I don't know, some fucking VPN service, that's what most people do, right? If you have their logo, it can only take up 3% of the screen. 
How does that make sense? I can't even like figure out what 3% is specifically like on a screen, but it's a very small amount, clearly, right? But that doesn't seem appealing to anyone, especially the brands themselves, right? Why would they want to pay just to have their logo 3% of the screen? Burned in video ads are also not allowed. So if you pre-record a brand deal, you're not allowed to put that on your stream, which is what a lot of people do. Burned in display ads are not allowed. Burned in audio ads are not allowed. If you had some like audio that was branded, you're not allowed to do that either. Like, what are they doing at this point? They're already trying to rob people blind and they're now making it even worse by saying, oh yeah, by the way, if you want to do a brand deal to try and make up for the fact that we're stealing all your money, you can't do that anymore either. If Twitch can't earn money from it, then why should you? And yeah, they came out some like examples here, like the fact that you could only have like 3% of the screen size covered by a logo. Here they've given an example of an ad you can't do. So if you had some little like 60 second brand deal pop up, a video you'd pre-recorded say like you get 30% off cans of soup, apparently. Not allowed to do that anymore. You're also not allowed these banners to pop up like with a brand deal. So not even you just talking about it. You could still just be doing your normal stream and some creators will have like a little banner pop up now and then and say like, oh, you can use my code and get so and so off. Can't do that. And yeah, they also showed an example of like the audio like ads you're not allowed to do. But this is genuinely one of the worst updates I think I've ever seen a platform do. I mean, imagine if YouTube came out and were like, oh, by the way, them brand deals that pretty much every creator does, not allowed to do them anymore. You know what? Fuck you guys. The internet would go mad, right? People would genuinely start leaving the platform because that is such a crucial part for a lot of creators to earn money. Especially for people who don't upload that much because they spend so much time on a single video. They rely on these brand deals because they don't earn that much from AdSense itself. But what makes this even worse is after they made this update, they actually have like their own streams they do on Twitch, like Twitch Rivals or some shit. Like it's their own streams, right? Where they get like a bunch of gamers in and have like a tournament or some shit like that. But they start breaking their own rules. I mean, look at this banner at the bottom with their sponsors. Apparently, it's okay for them to do it, but actual streamers, you know, the people who keep the platform running, aren't allowed to do it. And I mean, someone's even shown here that it takes up 4% of the screen, apparently. But after there was so much backlash with this update, Twitch actually started, like, taking back their update and tried to play dumb, as if people were just misunderstanding what they were trying to do. Today's branded content policy update was overly broad. This created confusion and frustration, and we apologize for that. We do not intend to limit streamers' ability to enter into direct relationships with sponsors, and we understand that this is an important part of how streamers earn revenue. We wanted to clarify our existing ads policy that was intended to prohibit third-party ad networks from selling burned-in video and display ads on Twitch, which is consistent with other services. We missed the mark with the policy language and we will rewrite the guidelines to be clearer. Thank you for sharing your concerns and we appreciate the feedback. We'll notify the community once we've updated the language. I mean, they don't actually care. And I don't believe for a second that this is what they meant. Like, there was no fucking misunderstanding with their tweet. It was very, very clear what they were trying to do. They were going to try and stop people doing these, like, brand deals as much as they could without, like, completely wiping them off the platform. And because people were so mad, they decided to play dumb and were like, oh, Oh no, that's not what we meant, guys. Sorry, we just said it a bit wrong. Yeah, it's a lot of shite, in my opinion. I mean, when you bear in mind everything else that like Twitch does, that is just shite. Like, it wasn't even surprising that they tried doing this in the first place. But yeah, like I said, because Twitch is just killing their own platform by the day, it's allowing a lot of other streaming platforms to grow massively, and Kick is a prime example of that, because they're coming out with updates that, if you're a creator, it sounds very appealing. Here we have a tweet from a few days ago where Kick is planning to update how they pay their creators, and they will actually soon be able to pay their streamers hourly. And it even says here that for every creator, no matter your size, whether you have one viewer or 100,000, will get paid for the hours they stream. Yeah, to the best of my knowledge, no other streaming platform is doing this. And if you are a creator, specifically a smaller to medium sized creator, this is obviously ridiculously appealing. And clearly it's working as well because they actually tweeted out, what, two days ago saying, Kick has gotten over 300k new signups two days in a row. That's over 600,000 new people from June 7th to June 11th. Kick Takeover has begun. Read to read and drop your link whatever. A lot of people are moving over. I, obviously, it is still miles away from Twitch and YouTube. I personally don't think I'll be making the move over there anytime soon. It is good to see that another platform is giving Twitch a run for its money. I actually kind of want another platform to come out and give YouTube a run for its money, you know? Not to like take over YouTube, but to make them think, okay, right, we should probably like be more creator friendly and viewer friendly and be able to make this platform better for everybody's experience. But because they are so comfortable, they don't really need to do that. But yeah, let's get back to some more like creator news that is on Twitch. And we're specifically talking about someone called Senpai Gaming here on YouTube. And it's someone I've actually watched quite a bit because he gives like streaming tips, like equipment tips. Like I'd watch his videos when he reviews like a product. I'm like, oh, 
maybe I should buy it for my videos or my streams. And he was actually streaming on Twitch whilst talking about like the problems at Twitch and how they can improve as a platform. He was talking about how Twitch are kind of like almost like stealing money from people and it should work on better ways to help pay the creators more and not take such a massive split and stuff like this. Very reasonable claims, right? But as he was doing this stream, a Twitch staff member actually went in the chat, told him he was wrong about all of this and then got like pissed off when like Senpai Gaming wanted to ban it. I love you, but I would also love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. One time. The but is that I think you have a lot of good ideas, but you're missing so much. No is saying you're wrong about anything. Maybe, is that no one? Is that a typo? No one's saying you're wrong about anything. You just have so many assumptions that are way off. No one's saying you're wrong about anything. You just have so many assumptions that are wrong. <laughs> yeah, makes zero sense, right? He's basically saying, by the way, I'm not saying you're wrong. But you're wrong. I mean, even the fact that a Twitch staff member actually went in the chat in the first place to try and like defend the platform, it's just not a good look. It seems like they're dropping their ass massively and panicking over the fact that people have a lot of negative opinions on Twitch recently. And they, for some reason, thought this would be a good idea to go to streamers chat and tell him he's wrong. And just to let you know, no point during this do they ever say like why he's wrong. In fact, they just carry on to say like, oh no, you're not wrong. You're, you're allowed to like have your own opinions after they just said you're way off. I'm happy to be told I'm wrong. I'm not upset about it, but... I know a lot of people making assumptions are making wrong guesses. Talk to people, be open about stuff and fix stuff. Again, not saying you're wrong. Not saying you're wrong, but then a minute and a half ago, you said you just have so many assumptions that are way off. How do you say I'm way off, but then you say I'm not saying you're wrong? That's what that said. And I'm happy to be wrong. But if you think I'm wrong, just tell me I'm wrong. Don't tell me I'm wrong and then say I'm not saying you're wrong. No, they're panicking massively because they don't want to look bad. They're like, oh shit, no, maybe I shouldn't say he's wrong. Even though I really think he's wrong, maybe I should try and be friends with him. Like, this is all, like, ridiculously stupid. And the fact that they are panicking to this level just shows... Like, the way the platform is right now, they're making a bunch of changes that aren't that good, a bunch of people are moving over, and they're trying to save their ass, whilst at the same time, making the situation even worse. I don't understand why we're having this conversation. If if Twitch is trying to fix its, its, how it, its appearance with streamers, like, you can't come into a streamer's chat hijack their entire stream yeah like why is he there in the first place he doesn't have to be there if you really want to have a conversation with the creator about it which is a great thing to do right we've been wanting like staff members to come out and have more conversations with creators and be honest and open and actually take some feedback in but do it privately don't do it while he's streaming to his viewers like wanted to talk to the chat and all that stuff what what i don't understand what good he thought was going to come out of this stop telling me you didn't say i have I have a chat history. And how many messages is he sending as well? We like he's spamming the chat. That. And again, it's fine. Like I'm trying to drop the conversation. It's just weird that now you're like hijacking my chat and making this weird. Like I wanna end my stream right now because I feel so uncomfortable with being gaslit by a tw by Twitch chat, by Twitch staff. Yeah, so as you just heard, he now wants to end his stream because like, why wouldn't he? Like, no one wants to sit there and just argue with a fucking Twitch staff member while they're just telling you you're wrong. You just want to carry on with your stream. So at that point, you should probably shut up, right? You should probably just leave the chat and be like, right, okay, whatever I was intending to do clearly hasn't happened and I fucked up along the way. Maybe apologize or even if you don't want to apologize, just leave. Leave the chat and stop getting involved. But for some reason, this staff member doesn't get the memo. I just banned him. Because he's trying to ban him from the <laughs> chat. Wait, I, can I not ban you? I hit the ban button and then you chatted again anyway. Can you... You cannot ban staff. Oh my gosh. You tried to ban me? Of course I tried to ban you and... What is this message? And you tried to ban me? Wow, are you a child? Why is he acting like a fucking 12 year old? You're Twitch staff and you're complaining that this person wants to ban you. Maybe get the message that he doesn't want you in the chat anymore and you should probably leave. But he can't ban you for some reason because you can't ban Twitch staff for whatever reason on like on your own stream, which is also a bit fucking weird. But surely you have a reputation to hold here. Just leave the chat. Anybody would get banned for doing what you're doing right now this is so weird yeah i'm gonna end the stream and now he's ending it because of this guy who's just ruined the whole fucking stream and just complaining and telling me he's wrong and all this stuff yeah it really isn't a good look for twitch there is so much stuff going wrong right now and there's so much more that i could also talk about but this video would be like fucking hours long and partly this but also the other stuff that i haven't even mentioned is a big reason why i don't want to even like stream on twitch anymore because why would you want to stream on a platform that doesn't want to better the platform and in fact just wants to make it worse continuously i still do want to like get back into streaming and it will be over on youtube i imagine probably on my second channel so if you haven't subscribed there like 
please do. It's linked in the description, so, like, if I do stream, it will be on there. But, yeah, I mean, YouTube has its problems too, but... Twitch seems to have the most problems out of every other platform and they always ban people for the most stupid reasons I've seen. It's like, there's a lot going wrong over there. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a weird, weird situation. But yeah, either way, let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously, this is a bit of a different video for me. I don't really like talk about Twitch that much, but I would love to know your opinions down below on everything we spoke about in today's video. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.